Hey guys, so today we're going to go over some of the gimbals we have in store, um, uh, in particular the ones that are compatible with the GoPro Hero 5. So we are going to get into that, um, just stay tuned. Okay, so in case you are wondering what a gimbal is, well a gimbal is a device that you attach another device to, so basically your phone, your camera or uh, a GoPro for instance. You put that on this little stick type device uh, and it takes away all the shake and um, unnecessary movement. So if you are doing a running shot, the footage will look nice and steady as opposed to the Blair Witch effect. Okay, so in the list we have the Osmo Mobile. Now this puppy dog is designed to be used with a cell phone or if you put this little attachment on here, this crazy looking thing, you can actually yeah, now use it with the uh, GoPro Hero 5. So with this device here, we have actually done a video uh, which we have posted on our website, which goes over some of the uh, features um, that this unit works with when you have your phone connected. But if you want to know more about that, head to that video. At the moment, we're just going to go through some of the features um, and buttons and settings that uh, are available straight away. So you have your thumb controller, uh, record and picture capture. Uh, you have your on off switch on the side. At the back um, you have this trigger which recenters it uh, should you say kind of lose track of whatever you're filming. And so just remember with your cell phone you can obviously control everything, the record um, button and all this uh, will link up but once you put the GoPro on there your record button on the handle won't work. Uh, you can still obviously use the joystick and the recenter button just remember some of the functions uh, are no longer accessible. So what does it come with? It comes with a handle, obviously the gimbal, uh, a battery, this little toggly cable thing, whatever it is, um, and that's pretty much uh, what you get in the box. But if you want extras, um, I would say that you probably want to go for something like this. Uh, this is a base plate um, that the device just sits into like that and clicks in. Uh, that is also um, compatible with a tripod. So you've got a quarter inch thread there, you just through, uh, screw your thread into that and then the base plate clicks back on the tripod um, and you have like um, a steady uh, camera. You can also um, put on a, a raft of attachments. Um, obviously there is this device here which is designed for the um, GoPro Hero 5. Uh, so your phone would normally sit in here and in place of that you put this um, metal plate and then the Hero 5 sits in here. Uh, you can also get um, Obviously spare batteries, now the spare batteries you get about four, four and a half hours worth of footage per battery. Um, there's the extension rod, um, there is also a little mini tripod. Also um, in the list there is a vehicle mount, uh, which is pretty handy, so it has these suction cups. You can just stick that on the side of the car door or the window or like wherever you want. Also, we also have the Z1 Evolution. Uh, now this little guy is quite a unique um, individual, so it has a joystick. Um, on off button on the side obviously. Uh, your GoPro uh, sits on top. It also has uh, an extra long handle so if we just unscrew this it's designed so you can put <coughs> shorter batteries in here or the end cap obviously to uh, make the handle uh, a bit smaller a bit more um, kind of usable. The batteries with the uh, extended rod on uh, these ones here and if you take the handle off, you just put two uh, shorter batteries, same battery uh, design, just slightly shorter, like that. So the uh, head on this uh, has a 330 rotation, so quite uh, a bit of rotation there. Um, the other thing is it actually has a quarter inch thread on the bottom, so that will attach to an existing uh, tripod base plate, um, which is very handy if you just want to have it uh, in one position and leave it alone. Okay, so although they don't uh, supply accessories, um, because of the quarter inch thread on the bottom, you can pretty much attach it to anything. So that includes a little suction cup like that, um, mini tripod. I mean, look at this, anything that has that, it's gonna attach to. So uh, in terms of like um, sort of what you can do with it, it's quite open, um, almost endless. Okay, so GoPro, along with their fantastic GoPro 5, have actually brought out this thing called a Karma. Now this is um, a stabilizer that you put the GoPro 5 on, obviously. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. So what you can do is you turn it on here, like so, little lights flash up, 
and you're ready to go. The gimbal um, handle itself will last for an hour when fully charged. Um, it does come with uh, accessories so that you can charge that handle 70% um, uh, faster than other gimbals. Um, the other cool features are that you have these buttons on the back which control the camera itself. Uh, so you can actually do that from the handle. So you have your on off button at the top uh, and also a record button. Your mode button, you can scroll through different um, uh, modes and in the menu. You have your highlight button here. So you push that if something interesting happens and it'll mark it. Um, battery indicator. Yeah. Okay, so now we've gone through um, some of the key features of the gimbal, we do have to touch on the negative aspects of it. So although the battery does last for an hour, it only lasts for an hour. Uh, like most of the other gimbals that uh, you find on the market, you've got like a, between a four to 10 hour lifespan minimum, but you cannot change the battery. So once that's flat, you're flat, you have to charge it up. So let's say you're in the middle of a shoot, goes flat, there's nothing you can do about it. There is no joystick on the back. Um, this little piece on the back here, that little um, middle section does nothing, even though it looks like a joystick. You actually have to take off um, a side uh, panel of the GoPro itself to fit into the gimbal so it connects, which is annoying in itself, but then it muffles the audio. So they all stabilize um, and they have different features. So it comes down to so sort of the reasons you want to buy one. Uh, you might be one of these guys who want to just stick with like a branded sort of uh, equipment. Um, then again, you might want specific features. So it really comes down to what you're using it for um, and how fussy you are.